Uh, first of all, uh, I want to be sorry for the absence of a PowerPoint. I will be using uh, our website to guide me a little bit. So I mean, yes, yeah, it's it's new wave, okay. Um, so uh, I'll be uh, talking a, a little bit about the agriculture at Institute Superior Technic as a student. I also have uh, Martin Bento, he's there. He's also a member of Acker School. Uh, for those who don't, who do not know me, my name is João Rodrigues. I am the president of Acker School. I am a, a third year student undergraduate of uh, elect, elect, electrical and computer engineering. Um, so Acker School started in 2012. Like uh, it made 10 years uh, the, the past year. So we've been uh, very ingrained with the um, with the culture at uh, at Technico, as we call it. So, uh, Acker School is a little bit of an offshoot from other uh, student groups because we are not focused in the, like just one project. For example, like FST or Technico Solar Boat, we have a lot of uh, engineering projects. Okay, and we develop them all in the group. So we have like uh, a lot. Of, I can show you the projects here. <laughs> so as of now, we have like over 10 projects. Uh, we have to clean our pages. Like, uh, for example, this one, the Almada Festival, I, has already finished. Uh, this is mine. This is the Floss 3D printer. It's um, it's a project where we fix basically uh, old uh, LOB Prusa printer along with the standards from the GNU Manifesto. Um, so, what, what ties all these projects together is that we have a base of very heterogeneous um, students. So, for example, at Acker School, we, all, we don't have only uh, electrical and computer engineering students or computer science students. We also have, for example, I'll, I'll show you some of the members here. They, they, they surely won't mind. So. Uh, this is me, uh, João. I am from electrical and computer engineering. But we also have Flip. He's a treasurer, but he's from mechanical engineering. We also have people from. Uh, okay, most of them are computer science and computer engineering. But we have, for example, people from uh, physics engineering, or for example, bi biomedical engineering, etc. So we are this very non-homogeneous uh, group of people. Um, recently, we, we tried to revamp um, Aka School. Since I've become a president, I tried to make Aka School more open, uh, not only for the students at Technico, but for example, we now have members in ISEL. Uh, we also have members that are uh, ab abroad as of now, so they are not in Technico. They're, for example, in Delft, etc. Uh, that's me <laughs> at the, the first day. We also have other, um, we, are, we are not just a hacker space. We also have a very close knit of, of we became a very close knit group of friends. Uh, so we have um, a lot of team buildings also, not just in engineering uh, and dev sessions. Uh, I would like to, to point out that uh, hacker school was not always this way. Uh, I tried to, um, uh, get some of the vintage values that Acker School had when it was created in 2012. Uh, I, know, I know Acker School since 2015, since I was very young. I was 13 years old at the time. And I really enjoyed the, um, the feeling of it. But when I entered uh, Acker School uh, two years ago, it was completely different. It became this very administrative, um, almost um, structure that I did not enjoy at the time. We had a, a very um, hard time communicating with other students, with, uh, with the, 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 the administration also. So when I um, applied to be the president of it, I wanted to um, change it a little bit and re, 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 re get the, the Acker from Acker School, uh, making Acker School Hacker again. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you mean that you wanted to make the school cool? Basically, yes. 
I, I wanted to make Acker School. Um, I wanted to make the Acker from the 70s proud of Acker School. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as it was now, Acker, Acker School was just the name of it. We were basically um, non-Ackers because we were not trying to get a free software approach to it. We were just trying to spew projects from Acker School at the time. So when I became president and thanks to the help of also my administration and the other hackers, we were able to free Acker School from this very corporative, like, uh, let's say, structure. So I would like to, to give you the example of one of the projects, one of our most successful cases, okay? So it's one of, of the, the finished projects. So if you go here, it's the, the Gaia Swatch. The Gaia Swatch is like uh, the, the essential project at Hacker School. We have uh, a part, we have multiple components, okay? All free. Uh, for example, we have um, the, the chassis, okay? Of the, the watch that was modeled by us. We also have the, I'll take it apart. So sorry. We also have the board. We have the board that we also made. Um, we programmed uh, along with the, we used R2S as our base for the firmware. But then we programmed the, the rest of the modules uh, in C++ and using uh, Platform I.O. Uh, for the, um, the, the SP32 firmware. And we also, one second, and we also have the, the app. My cell phone is not, it's not collaborating with me. And we also have the app that we use to connect to the, the SP32. So all of this together makes a functional, pro uh, a functional product, as someone said before, uh, a proof of concept, OK? It's, OK, it's not a, a very sleek and uh, beautiful design. It's a mix of, um, it looks like between a bomb and the Ben 10 watch, but it's functional. So uh, I'll proceed to show you. It, easy assemble. I'll proceed to, to show you how it works. So I forgot the battery. Okay. Fits like a glove. Um, so I'll, I just need to go to the um, to the application. One second. I'll first of all uh, turn on the Bluetooth. And I will connect to this one. It's called this my my watch. It's called a guy's Shogoth. That's mine. So if he cooperates with me, okay. And now it's connected. So it shows the time. Um, Martin, can you call me, please? I usually have my cell phone like turned off, so it's probably the first time in our three years of French of friend, friendship that he's calling me. So now uh, you can see it's receiving the message. It should buzz, but I worked the buzzer uh, while I was assembling the watch. So <laughs> it works. It also works with uh, the other bit API to get uh, a viewing of the weather. Um, and it also has like all the features and it's, it's fully expand expandable. So you, if you know a little bit of, of C++, you can make your own modules and load them into the watch. It's you can You can simply go to 
Here. I went on to the, the wrong way. So if you go to GitHub. Okay. So if you go to our GitHub, you can see uh, basically Okay, some of our projects do not have licenses. Uh, that's that's on me. I should have uh, been adding the licenses, and I said, "Oh, please add your license to to the project." So, for example, as you can see, in our, it, it uses GPL uh, version three. Most of them use G, either GPL or uh, or the Apache license. Uh, let's see. There it is. So. Here in our repository, you have the 3D model for the case. Uh, you have the Android part, which is for the, the application. We also, you also have, you can also have the PCB, so you can make your PCB, the PCB at home. Um, and then the Agaia Swatch is actually, it's where it's the source. So you can go here. I'm sorry for the lack of comments. So. No comments. It was made for, by an uh, electrical and computer engineering student. We do not know how to program. Uh, yes, the, the LCIF sequence. Very, very polished code. Um, so you can simply, uh, for example, if you want, we, in the workshops, we made one that would get you a random string from, the, um, from, the, from a random string API generator. So. Yeah, it's, you can just create a little module in, with, uh, the, um, with C++, flash it onto the board, and you'll have your own personalized I guess watch. Overall, um, ACA School, it's like this little bastion of ACA culture at Institute Superior Technic. We try to connect with other um, student groups like FST, which is the formal student group. We have a pretty good friendship with them. We share the same lab sometimes, <laughs> S but like we are a little bit of unique uh, of a unique group because we are the only student group that will uh, put their code for everyone to to see and share and freely modify. We also are one of except for a formal student. We also have a very diverse community with a lot of students from. Uh, for example, we had like a uh, present from mining engineer, which you wouldn't normally associate with aquaculture, but it makes sense when you have it there. So overall, this is Aka School. Uh, we were supported by EST. Now we are basically independent in, in the sorts. We still use the spaces, but we don't have much funding from them. So yeah, we'll be at Make a Faith. Anyone wants to join us at 24 and 25? February at the Up Creative Dubiat, Marville. If somebody wants to see some of our projects that have been in development. So that's about it. Thank you for coming to my dead talk. <laughs> Thank you. Can I make a question? Yes, yes. Uh, do you have students from Tagus or only from. No, we have students from everywhere, even Tagus. Okay. So we, I think. For example, um, Bianca, which is in the direction, she's from, she's, she's a computer science student, but she's from Tagos also. She's from the marketing department. But, and we also have some students from Leti, telecommunications and, inf and information systems. So, yeah. Um, do you use the same license for the, the gate, so all the hardware, mm. casing and PCBs and the software? Yeah. It's all covered by the same license. Uh, so, sorry? It's covered by the same license for all of it. Uh, I think that the project, as of as of its sense now, has no license because I haven't talked that with that to Pedro. But it should be G GPL. Okay. I think that actually, I think that this one is under Apache, and the rest of them is under GPL. Uh, the Android is under Apache because Flippy really likes the Apache license. Yeah, I don't have like a very good explanation. I should have Felipe here. <laughs>
any extra question? Um, challenges, so what, what do you struggle with? What would you need help with? Well, um, we, I think we, we mostly struggle with uh, students being uh, at ACA school. With, the, with MEPE, which was the, the reforms that we now had, um, the student group suffered a lot because uh, MEP pushes students to focus more just on the courses and not so much on the other uh, parts of it. In, in, in Bora, they try to balance the skills, if I can say, trying to give uh, students credits for participating in student groups, but in practice it does not work very good because uh, they don't have the time for it with maps and tests that occur uh, during the semester and not just the final exams and all the laboratories and all the other small evaluations that we have um, that is something that we are struggling a lot and we have been talking also with the Diferencial which is our um, journal here because they did an interview about that, the uh, impact of MEP in the student groups but we struggle now, now we are not struggling a lot with funding. We had that problem before, but now we, uh, we achieve this little uh, balance of money that we keep in our account. And we mostly keep it, we, we get this out, but this gets in. So it, it ends up balancing a little bit. And basically materials, yeah, it, it ends up always balancing itself. We have a pretty stable account as of it's now. Once again, Flip is the treasurer, not me. <laughs> I'm just the president. Can we, for our international audience, just say what MAP stands for? MAP is. My kid? No, no, no. MAP is the new uh, pedag pedagogical practices method. Something around that. So it's a little reform that we had. Basically, some of our undergraduate students. Uh, we had this, the bachelor's degree, but some of the bachelor's degree were not, Bologna, uh, were not covered by the Bologna standard. For example, myself included, me and Martina are from the electrical and computer engineering course, and we are just in the integrated masters. But now we also, we, we changed, they changed it into a, um, a masters in, a Bologna masters in electrical and computer engineering and the, and the, and the, and the bachelor's degree. So yeah, so that changed a little bit. And the course is also, they, ch they changed all of the structure. It's, it's a bit of a mess, let's yeah. say. Map more like mess. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? So, yes. uh, what about uh, links to other student groups, collaborations that we do on a regular basis, like uh, you mentioned with the Transcell? Yes. Uh, there was also there's no longer, but there used to be Zero, the, the, the radio, radio, yes. which yes. I was part of. Yes. Uh, and, I mean, there should be many others. I, I, mm -hmm. There used to be at least. Uh, so do you, do you have some of those collaborations? Uh, we most now we mostly collaborate with uh, FST because I, I have a lot of friends there, and they have this very friendship, uh, a very strong friendship based on exchanging hardware. They need a Raspberry Pi. We give them the Raspberry Pi. They give it back. Call Bork. No, just kidding. They they treat <laughs> our materials very well, and we sometimes change the our laboratories. We go to their labs. If we need something for more mechanical uh, point of view, for like uh, they have like these heavy machinery, CNC's machines that we cannot fit in our little room, so uh, we have like this little cooperation with FST. Um, we used to have um, a lot of projects uh, with BEST, the Board of European Students. Um, nowadays, because of uh, uh, this interest, they they started they. Let's say that the, the relationship deteriorated a little bit. They used to, to propose us projects and give us a, some budget. But eventually, the projects was not, were not going very well. And it was like, uh, it was like, it was in the, those cooperative days because people were not very interested in doing that project. We had to do the project. We were not uh, interesting, interested in doing the project. So for example, uh, a lead sign and nobody nobody wanted to do it 
So we grab like, oh, okay, now one, two, three, you go do it. That um, armed a little bit of the the relationship between us and best, and also in, inside Acker School, and then I became president. So this was in the past years. But as of now, we mostly work with differential a little bit. We we basically we are they use us as a communication also uh, instrument because we have like we we have the dominion, let's say, of it of the Tognort. Okay, so they we exchange a little bit of information, and in the um, in the the first week of when the when the newcomers come to to EST, they we also uh, uh, we conjoin our two little uh, banking years. So yeah, to have stand, yeah. yeah the stands exactly I forgot the word. Yeah, and um, what about what about uh, or something in the transcript or uh, an article or something like that? That that could be a good idea. Um, we we had like uh, some events that we wanted to do for ex with differential because differential also manages a lot of the um, exhibitions and and ex movie exhibitions. So we were talking with differential to make a hacker um, week where we exhibit some documentaries um, and other films related with hacker culture. So for example, the Revolution OS and other little movies that we'd like to to have them show show it to people so yeah and we also work with the uh, the twin sister of differential which is the lounge which they also are located in the the informatics uh, building there yeah and uh, what about uh, the center that you going to be on the maker fair yes uh, and yeah, I'm with other like or or something like that. No, I did not. I didn't even know that Mill existed uh, until you told me uh, yesterday. But I became very interested, and I will definitely contact them because um, when I was young, I really wanted to uh, have a maker community to develop uh, s some little projects that I had, and that's why I joined Acker School when I came to Institute of Spirit Technic. But now I see that there was a lot of communities that were doing that work, and I didn't even know. So yes, we are interested in doing that. We had like this little co collaboration with FabLab um, some time ago, because like five years ago, because of our um, Agaia, uh, the Aka Entertainment System, which was a little uh, remote that was um, copying the. Nintendo Entertainment System one, and we made it using Arduino and the Go language, and we made the board and all of that, and we also made the casing, and that's where FabLab entered because they have the MDF cutting uh, machinery. That's also when I um, met the Acker School community. Cool. Yeah. So, like uh, you are doing so amazing. Where do you where would you want to see this 10 years from now? Well, I'd like to see it exactly where it is, in Tecnico. In the same little room with uh, 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 Senor Duarte uh, helping us uh, with our stuff. Uh, Senor Duarte is the laboratory technician that's right there and always finds us uh, tools to, to, to use. But uh, yes, I would like to see it a little bit more developed, like with a more regular basis of ACUS, but I wouldn't like to see it like uh, getting out of uh, the technical life, let's say it. Um, I think that it's very productive the way it is. It could be more productive. That's something that I would like to see, a more productive ACUS school with a more regular base of ACUS. But overall, I'd like it to keep a bit of the same. Thank you. Okay, thank you.